G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a curious high school problem. It goes as follows. A lattice point in an xy coordinate system is any point x comma y where both x and y are integers. Okay, I need to think about that for a moment. Um, the graph of y equals mx plus 2 passes through no lattice point with 0 less than x less than equal to 100. Okay, the question's getting a bit complicated. Not sure what that's, that's saying really. Uh, for all values m such that half is less than m is less than a, hang on, what's a? What is the maximum possible value of a? Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Oh, it's going to take me a while to figure this question out. What's, what's, oh, what's, oh, what is it going on? Uh, all right, first part. A lattice point is a point in an xy coordinate system with both uh, x and y being integers. Okay, so, so I guess if I like drew graph paper, do, 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 do. It's kind of boring watching me draw graph paper, but here's some graph paper. A lattice point, actually, let me draw the axes, squeak, x-axis, and a y-axis. A lattice point is, I guess, where the coordinates, x and y coordinates, are actually integers. So, bingo, a point like that. Where the, okay, where the lines cross, where these, these lines are where the integers are. So, lattice points, all the points where the lines in the graph paper meet. Okay. So our lattice point is one of these points. The graph of y equals mx plus 2, y equals mx plus 2, passes through no lattice point for, zero, for x between 0 and 100. So here's 0, and it goes way up to 100, way over there, further than the board. All right? This line, huh, y equals mx, so some slope, and starts there at 2, goes through none of these intersection points somehow, at least at least for x between 0 and 100. So I guess in this sort of column of points, okay, this line, whatever it is, doesn't go through any of those lattice points. All right? But for all value m such that half is less than m is less than a. All right, so m could be, a, okay, there's a whole bunch of lines, different values of these lines, and slope is between a half and something that I'm meant to figure out. What's the biggest possible value? Okay, I'm meant to figure out a. I want to make a as big as possible. Ooh, okay, still don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Um, well, let me go to extremes. Let me do, uh, yeah, this is a tough one. Let me go to strategy number 10. Let's go to extremes. Let me just draw the extreme situation where m is a half. I know it's not allowed because m is meant to be strictly bigger than a half, but let's go to the boundary. So a line of slope a half y step 2 would be, what, 1 over 2 up, oh, sorry, 2 over 1 up backwards. All right, so it's something like this. I'm trying to be fairly decent, because it definitely does go through lattice points. All right, all right. Now, that, that's with m being right at the edge point. But m is meant to be a slope bigger than a half. So if I did a bigger slope, I guess I'll get m's that, lines that go like this. So I get a like, whole possible rays of lines. Aha, aha, it's feeling good. We want this line to do what? The graph of y equals mx plus 2 passes through no lattice point. So, all right, so I'll get more lines coming up at different slopes, but I don't want to go through any of these lattice points. They're all bad. So I'm circling all the bad points. Bad, 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 and so on. All right. So now I can kind of see that maybe there is a line with a slightly bigger slope that just squeaks under all these bad circles. So maybe there is a range of values that m could be well, bigger than a half, that's the first one I drew, but up to something. All right. All right, this is feeling good. Um, I guess the extra bad, I mean, that seems like the very worst of the lattice points right here, because I'll never really bother hitting those ones, because if I've hit one of these ones, I've already passed through that. So this is like one of the worst points there is, and I'm feeling that's pretty bad too, and this one's pretty bad, and this one's pretty bad. Oh, oh, okay. So I guess... Just to the left of each of these points, I can see particularly bad, dangerous lattice points I want to avoid. So let me just be clear. Going to that first bad one has slope of a, uh, well, I can see it just goes one over one up. So m equals one is bad. So it tells me m better be less than one. Look at this point. That has coordinates, what, uh, three and one, two, three, four. That has, uh, 3, 4, so it goes, what, 2 over and 2, 2 up, no, sorry, 3 over and 2 up. So that tells me m better be less than 2 thirds. Ah, I can see it, so I've got to avoid that one. That I bet now I can already go through and see a whole range of values that m has to avoid. But it feels like I'm going to be doing this for a very long time. 
oh, I only have to do this up to 100. I better go up to the 100th one, go one in to the 99th position. That's going to be the sort of the other case under the 99th slope I'm going to check. I bet anything below all these values I'm collecting here is going to be the value of A I want. I want A's up to, look, notice it's actually not even equal to A. I feel like this question has hope. I bet I can now write down a range of possible slopes for all these M's that avoid, that just sneak under all these bad points and see the biggest A could be. Wow, still a little bit of work I think, but it feels doable. I feel like I have a strategy now and I can actually do this work. So try it out. Try to find the slopes for all these bad points and see how big A could be to squeak just under all of them. And when you get an answer, check the answer I have that goes with the essay for this video. This is actually really cool stuff. This is actually, this is subtle. I enjoy it. Okay, have fun with it too. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.